Okay, okay, so just tested it again and it works fine. So what we're going to do is try and recreate, if we have a look, this kind of look. Like it's quite a bit of um, filtering over the top. But we've tracked the stairs, dragged it in, and this, uh, this appears up here, which is very cool. So what we can do is we'll do that and we'll just go through it now and show you how to do it. So composition, new composition. That's fine. Right, so we need to import because we've just we've just exported this data out of here. Okay, now what I think I'll do is if I if you have a go at it once, what I can do is you can choose the clips and one day we'll just export all of the data out of here together so you know how to do it and I can do that for you. Which then leaves you a file that looks which is a .ma file. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So well, I'm just going through, like for example, that's this is the clip that we're going to do it to. Okay, which is quite cool. So all I've done then, export the data out of here, saved it in here, and now we're going to import the film and that data, camera data together. Okay, so we'll do that now. So this is After Effects. So file, import file. So. Um, 04, open, okay, file, import, file, 04 data, the tracking data, now that gives us, hang on, that gives us um, a thing called square, square Claire 04, so double click that, so this is the tracking data now. So if we hit spacebar, you can see us moving around the room. Okay, so those are all the points that we just pulled out of here. Each one of those points refers to one of these. Okay, which is kind of cool. Now we need to do is drop in um, the background which we imported, which is here. Um, I'll use that one. So literally, just click and drag until you get that thick black line okay which is kind of cool now if we were to play them both together you can see that the footage and the and the points the tracking points stick together which is okay now what we want to do is we want to kind of choose one of these points now i went through before and tried to find something because if we look at let's concentrate on looking at this set these two squares what you get is if we hit space is that's kind of on screen and it looks like it's stuck pretty well to the stairs so I kind of use that one um, uh, in in this one here so what we'll do is we'll do that one in fact let me find out what the number of that one is um, there it is that's track 500 but it's just a case of working your way through it actually so if we go down to track 500 500, 500. That should be somewhere up there. Uh, track 500. There we go, it's that one. So, what we can do is we can isolate just that one, but we also want to isolate by hitting these dots the film. So, now if we were to scrub forward, see it sticks pretty well to the wall, doesn't it? So we can use that one. So what we need to do now is add in some text, which is kind of cool. In fact, what I'll do is I'm just going to copy this text. It saves me typing it out. But all of your work on the case studies that you've done online, um, you can do that. Just add a new text layer again. So Apple V. Um, let's change the size of that. So highlighted it. Come over here, reduce the size. Now what we want to do is obviously link this to this, okay, so the text to the actual tracking point. So I know that I need to get to turn it into a 3D layer first. Um, and what we can do is bring that forward a bit and make it a bit bigger. Which is kind of cool. And then what we can do is just move this to here. Um, great. Okay, so remember yesterday we talked about the 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 P wiki or P, Pig wiki, Pick wiki. 
So I need to track down to 500. It's a bit of a long-winded process, but it works in the end. And then, hang on. There we go. Just passed it. It's the one with a dot on. So what we should get now, when we scrub forward and backwards, is that the actual text uses the information. This is called like a null object from the tracking data from PF Track in this footage. So if we hit spacebar, it should stick. And there you go. Now what you might get is a bit of jumpiness because it was quite a hard track, and you see it's a bit off at an angle. But you know, I think that's I think that's fine. I think it adds a bit to it. Now what I've done, as well as added a couple of effects, now the ones I uh, added to the film was a lens blur. just takes the sharpness off of it, which is quite nice. Added, um, and what you sometimes find as well, if you zoom out, you see around the edges you get the um, transparent uh, boxes. There's a little clip button down here, repeat edge pixels, which is kind of cool. That just mirrors the edge pixels. And then um, add, I add a noise just to give it that kind of, just a different kind of look, if you can actually see it. Um, there we go, that's quite nice I think. Um, it works quite well I think, which is cool. And that is that. Now you can obviously add in some effects. Now there's an effect just for the text. Um, if we go to uh, Twitch. Oops, Twitch, here it is. So we can drag that onto it. Now I've got Twitch on my computer so I can let you have that. Um, enable and I put the blur on it. It kind of gives it a little bit of a glow. You can add a light in if you'd like as well. Um, so it scrubs forward and backwards. You can see what that does to it. It kind of just pops out the text a little bit. We did say we wanted a bit of movement within the text but I think this is quite nice. And that is it. So then we go composition make movie. Now there's a button down here called lossless that takes you into a different, um, takes you into your output settings. Now basically set proxy, something weird happens on my computer, I'm not sure if it happens on yours, but just change that to none, go OK, and then square clear 042, this is what it's going to be saved at, so that's fine. Save, and then when you render it, it should say about 11 minutes, yeah 13 minutes. Now unfortunately I've got to go, so I can't see what that looks like, but I will render that so you can have a look at it. Um, and that's the end of the tutorial. So I think the, the process is um, choose your, what we can do is we can stop that. Right, so process is choose the clips that you want to look at. Okay, crop them a little bit in iMovie so you know they're not too long. Um, Save them as a, you know, share them out as a QuickTime file. So share QuickTime once you've done it. And then in order to get them into PF Track, what we need to do is save it as a movie file, and I'll show you how to do that. But that's it, Claire, really. And then import them into Final Cut, and we can have a play with them. And that's it.